Hey, it's Deborah Atkinson, host of Flipping 50 TV and the Flipping 50 podcast, and I've got another exercise for you. And this is kind of longitudinal kind of exercise. This is really like the length of your body, the whole thing working in a package deal, as it should. But this one I often leave out. It's not one that I commonly give as an exercise prescription for my clients, and here's why. It involves this connection with your hamstrings in the back of your thighs and where they originate from your glutes. So it's kind of this coming together right back here. And it's actually a pretty vulnerable spot because so many of us sit and we're tight up here. And when we're tight up here, and then we come out and we try to exercise, very often we're tight but not strong. We're tight and weak because we haven't been using those muscles coming forward. And when we come to exercise, we often jump in too much, too soon, too fast, right? And because if you're not strong here, pulling your leg forward when you should be, what happens is your hamstrings actually have to do more of the work proportionately than they should. So injuries to this high hamstring are quite common after 40, 45, and 50, especially for kind of those of us weekend warriors. We really, when we can exercise, we like to go hard, right? I know ya, cause I am ya, I gotcha. Okay, so we've gotta be careful about doing too much. So one of the reasons I don't love this exercise is it can make you exacerbate some issues with those hamstrings. So it's called a Russian deadlift. We're doing two legs and not one. So be careful, know who you are. But the purpose of this is to get you to push back through your hip and get some mobility in your hip. That is one reason I do like it. So you're going to work on coming back, pointing your hip backward first, go into your heels, and then allow yourself to hinge at your hips till you feel a stretch through the hamstrings. So it's the hip back and then down. And if you're doing this correctly, you're not feeling anything at all up here. If you feel it up here, then this exercise or the range of motion you're doing should be smaller or the exercise should just be one that sits over here until later when you're more ready. I'm gonna add weights to this. If you're feeling like you're coming here, you're feeling enough just by doing it and getting that hip hinge, that's enough for today. Here's what it looks like with weights. And you can also do this with one long straight bar. Don't go too heavy. Feet are about hip width apart, so that means right under your sit bones. And then again, it's hip first, and begin to come out. Your head stays up, and then lift it, only until you're feeling the stretch through the hamstrings. So as soon as you feel them engage, now you're gonna use them to come up. So you're coming down, hinging at your hip, and engage through your hamstrings. Nice and easy. Now I haven't got really heavy weights, and yet this is enough if you go slowly and feel it. This is a Russian deadlift. Be careful with it, and let me know how it goes. I'll see you on the flip side.